Welcome back is to Blocks Politics. The battle for Ondo State records another round as the plenary session of the Ondo State House of Assembly ended abruptly after three anti-impeachment lawmakers were suspended for alleged gross misconduct. The Assembly subsequently set up a committee to investigate the allegations leveled against them. And also the majority leader of the House, Jamil Maito, who is also against the impeachment of the Ondo Deputy Governor, Agbola Jai, resigned from his position as the House leader. Can we say that these events are foretelling the defeat of the Deputy Governor in this tussle? Joining us to throw more light on this is the Chief Press Secretary to the Deputy Governor of Ondo State, Babatope Okeowo. Babatope, Good How are you doing? Good evening. I'm, uh, good evening. I'm okay. Okay. You're what? I said I'm okay. Very oh, okay. Good to, good to have you. It yeah. tells me that uh, there's no fire on the mountain. But we'll be back to you. Let me also introduce to our viewers, Alester Wilkos, a public affairs analyst. And uh, let me not mention the other title I'd like to give you. <laughs> but good to have you, Alester. Good evening. It's always my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Let me start with the man who is right there in Ondo State. Um, what we narrated in this uh, our introduction, is it far from the truth? Is the deputy governor on his way out as the deputy governor? Well, I don't know how they can succeed with their, their impeachment plot unless they want to do what they call jankara or a kangaroo thing. The Explain. major reason is that the constitution is so uh, specific about to third majority to impeach the deputy governor or the governor of a state. As it, as it, as it stands now, they cannot get that number because 17 of them have signed and uh, nine have repudiated that uh, plan. No, do and you mean 17 have, or 14? Let me get it right. Is it up to 17 now? Huh? Additional three have signed. Okay. Making 17. Okay. So 17 is still not two-thirds of 26. Two-thirds of 26 is 18. And you cannot manufacture someone <laughs> to make 18. <laughs> I'm coming even to that. they like, I, I'm, even I'm, they like, I, I, let them suspend the nine members. It can still not change because the constitution does not have a stage. Baba Tokwe, I, yes. I find this quite interesting. Let me quickly speak to accountant. I look at that calculation and I see that the two third of 26 is actually 17.3. <laughs> now, he has uh, done the approximation to mean that it has to be 18. Uh, well, uh, yeah. mathematically. So help me with the mathematics. Yes, mathematically, if it's not up to 0.5, then you cannot approximate upward. Hmm. You approximate downward. Uh, and so it's go, very correct. Yes, and if, no, he's wrong. And if you go that it's not up to 5.5, 5, that is half, mm -hmm. cannot be approximated upward. So if you say to third of a of 26, which is 17.3, then since you cannot have a one third of a human being, if it is 17.5 <laughs> or 17.6, you can approximate it to 18. But since it is 0.3, you can't approximate up. You have to leave it downwards to 17. But for me, uh, either 17, 16, 15, my worry about on those states is by the time this whole thing blew up, what came to my mind was Omo Burewa Ajashin conflict. Hmm. And if uh, as I was still a very small boy in 1983, yeah. when Omo Burewa and Ajashin held sway in Ondo states. And if after 1983 till now, it's how many years gap? If after then, um, as at 1983, I'm sure. Um, That's 37 years 37, ago. I'm sure Agbola or Akre Duale, Akre Dolu, will be in their 20s or maybe that, early 30, I don't know their real ages now. But I think as a that time they should be in there, they should be young people. So they are not ignorant of what took place in 1983. They are just in uh, Omoborewo factor that almost brought on those state down, that created, the, that reenacted the Wild Wild West 
of the 1959-1960 issue of the, the crisis. The, yeah. the crisis then. So if after 33 years, that if after 37 years, is that seven years now? If after 37 years, um, two actors who were in their in their youth at that time knew the implicate yeah, Im implication of what happened, will still come back to want to reenact that episode. Then it, for me, it's unfortunate and uh, a demeaning of what is known to be the, the, the character of the industrial people. Educated, highly skilled, highly intelligent people, and they want to repeat history. I think for me, that is sad. So talking about 17 or 16, I don't think it's another year another, or 18. Yeah, it's another year another, because really and truly, no impeachment process in this country, in this fourth republic, had, had taken a constitutional dimension. Beautiful. It will always I'm be kangaroo. Out, I, 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 I think I like uh, that statement. But let us let me come back to you, uh, Okewu. Now, from what he said now, <laughs> maybe you want to continue the argument of 17 or 18. The impeachment notice has been served, and the clerk has confirmed that this has been submitted. So do you think that they can still get in court justice now by appealing to the CJ to come to the rescue? You see, uh, like I said, let me correct the impression that the impeachment notice has been served. The deputy governor has not received any impeachment notice as he speaks. And my view, what the concern says is that it is personal service, not substituted service. That said and done, that they have not served the deputy governor the impeachment notice. Now, let us look at the issue of what is two thirds of 26. We cannot have one third of anybody. So it's, just, it's a whole. We are not talking of figure, we are talking of human beings. So mathematically, you might be saying 17 point something. But you cannot say a member elected by the constituency, a constituency is a, a one, is a third, one third. No, it's a whole human being. But so, uh, Mr. Kawo, I know you're a journalist like me, but are you not aware of the game that has played out as we speak? Two members or th two members have resigned out of this nine. I mean, out of these nine that backed out, and we have one that has resigned. Have, have they not played into said, the hands? If you listen to what I said at okay. the issue, I said that the Constitution does not emphasize you suspending somebody. No. It is members elected who have been sworn in, inaugurated. So in the night, they suspend the nine members. It can still not hold water. Okay. Thank God that uh, my co uh, uh, person said there's no equipment um, that has been done legally <laughs> in Nigeria. That has yeah. always been kangaroo. Be be because of time, I'm sorry, I'm always cutting in. Now, he has raised something very critical, and let's go straight to practical. What we've seen over time is these deputy governors get impeached. They later get justice in court, and then the deed must have been done. So how do we even ensure that this is not going to be a deja vu? The politicians have uh, learned nothing, and they've, and they've remembered nothing. Uh, like I said, no, I don't think there has been any impeachment. That. So as far as I'm concerned, Agbola will, make himself, will give himself a whole world of good by resigning, because that Agbola is to be impeached is a done deal. Uh, you don't need to talk to sign impeachment. You need, you need a simple majority. You need to talk to remove after the panel has submitted this report. Mm. Signing an impeachment notice, uh, it's a simple majority that you need. So, but at the point of receiving the report and removal, it is where you need the two thirds of the members. Now, what people have always they what constitute impeachable offence? Well, the constitution make just give the assemblymen a Cruise blank check. 
gross misconduct. Gross misconduct, which is neither here. You can impeach the president on gross misconduct. You can impeach local government. The governor can select local government chairman on gross misconduct. What constitutes gross misconduct? It is, it is, it is not. So the framers of the constitution really did, uh, did not envisage that we will have rascals as legislators. We will have people without their own mindset as legislators. We will have uh, uh, on, uh, dishonorable honorables as legislators that will not do things because I have not seen I have not seen a debate about impeachment. I have seen impeachment. I followed the impeachment of the governor of Ohio. Very, very that is critically. I followed the impeachment of the governor, the a one-time governor of California. Critically. I followed the impeachment process of Donald Trump. Even President. Yeah. President Donald Trump. I followed the, now we framed our constitution in line with the American Constitution. And I saw the rigor in establishing facts beyond reason. In fact, it was across party lines hmm. in the case of that of the uh, governor of uh, California and that of the governor of Ohio, across party lines. Hmm. As at the time that, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, the, 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 the uh, Watergate scandal uh, 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 impeachment okay. happened in, 70, in 1972, it's now. It was across party line. Forget what happened in Trump, in Trump uh, time. It is just that the Democrats, want, uh, the, the Republicans want to protect their yeah. own. But you discover that if a reasonable cause of a case has been established against somebody, it's established. It will be clear. And that is where I have honorable men. To have to carry out an impeachment process, but in this case, you have men that either been delegated by the governor or by somebody somewhere, and they just pull strings. And within, how can you finish impeachment processes within a week? Lalaja was impeached in a hotel, in a hotel room. Um, Peter B was impeached by 4 a.m. 4 a.m. on on a day when mm. the na assembly's mm. rule is that the assembly opens by nine. Peter B was impeached by 4 a.m. So, <laughs> for me. Um, we have gone to this level. I'm and, coming and, back to you. And Agbola has, a, and Agbola okay. has over about uh, six to nine months. I don't know how many months he has. Since he has chosen to break rank with his party and um, decide to play the Omo uh, uh, factor in this, in, this in this matter, I think he should also do what Omo Boriwo did. You don't, don't even try it because you might just end up creating more confusion in, in, in those states. Now that you move to a new party and you, you are likely to get the government ticket in that party, why not resign? You have only about six Let, months Let's to go. quickly have uh, the CPS react to that. Do you consider that as a wise counsel? You see, I don't know his age in 1983. Thank God he was to be finally to 1983. I was a student of secondary school and I witnessed what happened. So we cannot be comparing what happened then to what happened now. We are seeing Omobori Owo who actually rebelled against the establishment. But the establishment then was pro-people. But we have a family that is governing the state. The father, the wife, the in-laws, and the children. So I thought it was not like that. We have a deputy governor leaving the party. We have the, uh, the SSG uh, signing his appointment. What kind of governor do we have that? Do you call that? We have, uh, we have uh, uh, people, well, the people of the United States are disenchanted with this uh, nepotic government. So now you cannot compare Ajaxi with uh, 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 okay, the loop. Far from it. The different categories. Okay, if you disagree, we, if you disagree with that uh, line of history, do you disagree with the council that since he has parted ways with his boss, he should go the right way by resigning rather than being see, the, the truth of the matter is that it is always it's, it's, it's a pity when people refer to governor as the boss of the deputy governor. Hmm. It is, it is subnormal. They, they were both elected. Look at, let us look at what happened in uh, Bielsa. The governor's chief election was justified because of the force of the deputy governor. That is, they were both elected. There is no boss 
that can fly, fly with one wing. You have to fly with two wings. So, why do you have to refer to a governor as a You know that the, the constitution okay. different so once again, once again, before I leave you, can you avoid the, the semantic uh, crisis we are creating now? Is it okay that your principal, the deputy governor, resigns so that he can because focus on the no election? Provision, there is no provision for him to resign okay. because he has defected. It is, it is not within the law of the land that once you jump or uh, don't pass you have to resign. It is not there. Okay, good. Some people elected him. But on those state people elected him. Beautiful. So he has to, he is responsible to the people of Ondo state and not to accredit the law, or to his wife, or to his family. Thank you so much. Uh, so right now, Lord, it's not the essay to the governor as uh, my colleague was trying to portray it. No. If there's anybody that's supposed to resign, it is actually those that's supposed to resign from. Uh, Thank you, Baba Takwa. Okay, well, I, I'm sure Akari Dolu men will also want to react to some of the things I, you say. I, I, but please, you have 45 seconds. I can sympathize, you I sympathize with uh, my brother Baba Takwa. I wish I could meet him face to face and let him know that uh, when you're a deputy, Two, two captains can never be in a ship. That's why you're a deputy. Two MDs are employed. An MD can be employed, a deputy MD employed. One is the boss. So uh, he will have to do his job because uh, he's the spokesperson for the debate. Mr. Babatokwe, please, the Akredolu is the boss of your principal. He decides the book. The book, the book stop on his table. That's why he's is a that deputy. What the law says? No, that's why he's a deputy. When you're a deputy, <laughs> there is a substantive. So that's your boss. So, but, you see, but for me, really, all I'm saying, all I'm saying at this point is save the people the of Ondo State. Save the people of Ondo State, that beautiful state. I love it when I go to Akure. Uh, I mean, I can tell you every... I'm not from Ondo State. I'm not from the West. But I can tell you every road in Akure or uh, all those uh, um, Ondo and all those areas. I have taught them around. So save those people. I am I'm a true Nigerian, my brother. I am a true Nigerian. I, I can mention towns and names. Now your time is up. Between, between <laughs> uh, Elara Monkey to Akure, between Akure to Owo, between Owo to all those uh, uh, okay. the area. So I can so save those people the pressure that you want to put them through. Your principal has joined a new party. I'm talking about family affair or no family affair. No, nothing wrong from a, from a wife being part of government. After all, uh, uh, what do you call him? Donald Trump children are in government and, and it's allowed. So let's not leave all those issues. Okay. If he's not doing well, wait. There's nothing stopping him from uh, Thank waiting. you so much. Uh, waiting Alessa for the next four years to contest. Let that, let so, so, so there be stability. Alessa in Wiggles, a time. I, I, I don't want those people to be, to be more progressive. I, I, than, I, than sus what they are I uh, suspect that this con conversation is going to get to this level. Hmm. Uh, Baba Tokpe Okewo, your position is well noted, and we respect it, and we'll expect that uh, peace will be the anchor at the end of the day. We are not going to have adjust the Moburio saga in 2020 by God's grace. Thank you for your time. And I'm You're sure welcome, that we'll still have more conversation in the days to come. And once again, thank you, Alesta, for your time. Babatokwe, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, and to our viewers, please stay with us. We'll take our plus report now. And when I return, I'll be giving you my take. Please don't go anywhere. Senator representing the FCT, Senator Philip Aduda. The Senate Minority Whip objected to the absence of a nominee from the FCT. <music> Called on the floor of the Senate as the President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, read the formal request from President Mohamed Buhari to confirm 11 nominees as judges of the Federal High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. The request, however, received stiff opposition by the senator representing the FCT, Senator Philip Aduda. The Senate Minority Whip objected to the absence of a nominee from the FCT, citing Order 43 of the Senate Standing Rules. However, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, Okpoyemi Bamdele, tried to douse the tension, claiming the FCT already has judges on the bench of the FCT High Court. Confirmation of appointment of 11 judges of the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. 
In accordance to Section 256, Subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as amended, I have the honor to forward for confirmation by the Senate the underlisted names of 11 nominees as judges of the High Court of the FCT Abuja. Copies of their CVs are attached herewith. One, Abu Bakar Husseini Musa Adama State. Two, Edward Okpe Benue State. Three, Babashani Abu Bakar Borno State. What is being done by the National Judicial Council at the moment is to fill existing vacancies on the bench of the FCT judiciary. What will become an issue is if you take a list of almost all the over 40 judges of FCT and any particular state is missing, that's when it becomes an issue. And a major criterion at this point is to ensure that states who do not have anybody on the bench are given priority. We just received a communication from Mr. President talking about 11 High Court judges for the FCT High Court. And Mr. President, none, none is from FCT. We're not saying that there should be no appointments as it relates to federal character and everybody being represented and every state of Nigeria being represented in the FCT. But Mr. President, what we're saying as the state assembly for the FCT, we should continue to ask some of these few questions that those who are saddled with this responsibility, if they're doing something 11, for everybody, just one, just one will have been okay for the FCT because they are going to sit here and they are going to work for the people of the FCT. But unfortunately, there is no single. Here is another drama in which many political pundits can easily predict we will go down in this battle of two titans. Please don't ask me because I am not one of the pundits, but a journalist whose job is to report the events as they unfold. It is ironic that either by political might or flagrant disobedience to the rule of law, injustice prevails. But what is yet to prevail is the commensurate punitive measures against political rascality and executive recklessness. Some might be looking forward to knowing who blinks last between the governor and his deputy in Ondo State. But my concern is which blinks first between justice and injustice, between masses oriented candidates and self-serving candidates? Who blinks first between loyalty to the people and betrayal? As we await answers to these questions, probably on October governorship election in Ondo State, or even beyond, let's keep asking for accountable and transparent governance from our leaders. And that's the wrap on today's program. Thank you for your kind attention while the program lasted. It returns same time tomorrow. Have a great day.